Science and technology in Vietnam represents the wide scientific and technological advances Vietnam has made and has been developing. The main managing agency responsible for science and technology in Vietnam is the Ministry of Science and Technology most. MOST's responsibilities include scientific research, technology development and innovation activities, development of science and technology potentials, intellectual property, standards, metrology and quality control, atomic energy, radiation and nuclear safety, and state management on public services in fields under the ministry's management as stipulated by law. This article describes trends and developments in science and technology in Vietnam since 2008, in particular. <laughs> Socioeconomic context Topic structure of the economy Vietnam has become increasingly integrated into the world economy, particularly since its efforts to liberalize the economy enabled it to join the World Trade Organization in 2007. The manufacturing and service sectors each account for 40% of GDP. However, almost half the labor force is still employed in agriculture. 1 million workers a year, out of a total of 51.3 million in 2010, are projected to continue leaving agriculture for the other economic sectors in the foreseeable future. In manufacturing, Vietnam is expected to lose some of its current comparative advantage in low wages in the near future. It will need to compensate for this loss with productivity gains. If it is to sustain high growth rates, GDP per capita has almost doubled since 2008. High tech exports from Vietnam grew dramatically during 2008 to 2013, particularly with respect to office computers and electronic communications equipment. A big challenge will be to implement strategies that increase the potential for enhancing technology and skills currently present in large multinational firms to smaller scale domestic firms. This will require strategies to enhance technical capacity and skills among local firms that are, as yet, only weakly integrated with global production chains. Many foreign multinational firms have gravitated towards Vietnam in recent years, but the number of patents nevertheless remains low. 47 were granted between 2002 and 2013. Even though 11% of Southeast Asia's high-tech exports came from Vietnam in 2013 excluding the Republic of Korea and Japan, according to the Comtrade database, the majority of high-tech exports from Vietnam were designed elsewhere and assembled in Vietnam. Even if foreign firms change their behavior and intensify their in-house R&D, this will only boost R&D in Vietnam if the multinationals can train a sufficient number of local personnel and work with skilled local suppliers and firms. <laughs> <laughs> Higher education Since 1995, enrollment in higher education has grown tenfold to well over 2 million in 2012. By 2014, there were 419 institutions of higher education. A number of foreign universities operate private campuses in Vietnam, including Harvard University USA and the Royal Melbourne Institute of Technology Australia. .The government's strong commitment to education 6.3% of GDP in 2012, in general, and higher education, in particular 1.05% of GDP in 2012, has fostered significant growth in higher education but this growth will need to be sustained sustained to retain academics. The Law on Higher Education 2012 gives university administrators greater autonomy, although the Ministry of Education retains responsibility for quality assurance. 
Topic issues and difficulties in science and technology in Vietnam According to a report on the role of science and technology in Vietnam 1999, the issues and difficulties in S&T in Vietnam are the following I, Policies are inconsistent and even contradictory. E, Decision-making processes pertaining to the entire S&T system are slow, burdensome, and bureaucratic. E, Vietnam does not have well-developed systems or capabilities for technology technical and economic forecasting or foresight, IV Vietnam has limited technology acquisition under existing arrangements, V Vietnam has a weakness in the assimilation of new technologies and underinvestment in assimilation following the purchase of new technologies, VI The national R&D system in Vietnam is highly fragmented, VII Very serious underinvestment in technology management and systems engineering. Topic: Science, Technology and Innovation. Topic: Institutional Context. There are a large number of universities and an even larger pool of research institutions in Vietnam. This poses a challenge for ministries in terms of coordination. To some extent, market forces are likely to eliminate the smaller and financially weaker units, the autonomy which Vietnamese research centers have enjoyed since the mid-1990s has enabled many of them to operate as quasi-private organizations, providing services such as consulting and technology development. Some have spun off from the larger institutions to form their own semi-private enterprises, fostering the transfer of public sector personnel employed in science and technology to these semi-private establishments. One comparatively new university, Tun Duc Thang Est, has already set up 13 centers for technology transfer and services that together produce 15% of university revenue. Many of these research centers serve as valuable intermediaries bridging public research institutions, universities and firms. Topic policy developments The Law on Higher Education 2012 offers university administrators greater autonomy and there are reports that growing numbers of academic staff are also serving as advisors to NGOs and private firms. The strategy for science and technology development for 2011 to 2020 drawn up by the Ministry of Science and Technology in 2012 builds upon this law by promoting public-private partnerships and seeking to transform public S&T organizations into self-managed and accountable mechanisms as stipulated by law. The main emphasis is on overall planning and priority setting, with a view to enhancing innovation capability, particularly in industrial sectors. Although the strategy omits to fix any targets for funding, it nevertheless sets broad policy directions and priority areas for investment, including, research in mathematics and physics, investigation of climate change and natural disasters, development of operating systems for computers, tablets ND mobile devices, biotechnology applied particularly to agriculture, forestry, fisheries and medicine, and environmental protection, the strategy for foresees the development of a network of organizations to support consultancy services in the field of innovation and the development of intellectual property. The strategy also seeks to promote greater international scientific cooperation, with a plan to establish a network of Vietnamese scientists overseas and to initiate a network of outstanding research centers linking key national science institutions with partners abroad. Vietnam has also developed a set of national development strategies for selected sectors of the economy, many of which involve science and technology. Examples are the Sustainable Development Strategy April 2012 and the Mechanical Engineering Industry Development Strategy 2006, together with Vision 2020 2006. 
These dual strategies call for a highly skilled human resource base, a strong policy for investment in research and development, fiscal policies to encourage technological upgrading in the private sector and private sector investment and regulations to steer investment towards sustainable development. Research trends In 2011, domestic research expenditure amounted to 0.19% of GDP, one of the lowest ratios in Southeast Asia. Women accounted for 41% of the country's researchers in 2012, one of the highest ratios in Southeast Asia. The number of Vietnamese publications in Thomson Reuters Web of Science has increased at a rate well above the average for Southeast Asia, but from a low starting point, Vietnamese scientists had 570 articles catalogued in international journals in 2005 and 2298 in 2014. By 2014, Vietnam had a modest scientific publication density of 25 publications per million inhabitants. This places Vietnam behind Thailand 94, Vanuatu 74, and the Solomon Islands 30, but ahead of the Lao People's Democratic Republic 19. Vietnamese publications catalogued in international journals focus mainly on life sciences 22%, physics 13%, and engineering 13%, which is consistent with recent advances in the production of diagnostic equipment and shipbuilding. Almost 77% of all papers published between 2008 and 2014 by Vietnamese scientists had at least one international co-author, which is common in developing countries. See also Ministry of Science and Technology Vietnam. Ministry of Health Vietnam Vietnam Union of Science and Technology Associations Vietnam Academy of Science and Technology Hanoi University of Science and Technology Topic Sources This article incorporates text from a free content work. Licensed under CC by SAEGO 3.0 UNESCO Science Report, towards 2030, 693-731 UNESCO, UNESCO Publishing. To learn how to add open license text to Wikipedia articles, please see Wikipedia, adding open license text to Wikipedia. For information on reusing text from Wikipedia, please see the terms of use. <laughs>